Waterman proudly presents C4 Waterman Day. On the best side of the island, the west side, Makaha Beach, December 11, 2007. gathered here on Makaha Beach to share in the aloha and the kokua. Today is a fun day where all the benefits go towards Makaha Elementary. You're going to see all sorts of fun sports such as this. Brian's hopping in the Hawaiian hamster ball, taking off in a race here with Tiare Lawrence where she gets off to a great start but Brian runs into obstacles. There are no rules today. In fact, there is one rule, and that rule is to have fun because we're going to raise some money for Makaha Elementary. And here to tell us a little bit about it is Brian Kealana. As a co-owner of C4 Waterman and organizer of the event, he can explain it better than me. Well, today is, you know, Waterman's Day. And, and really what we created with Waterman's Day is, um, you know, this community has given so much to the rest of the world that... I wanted to make sure not only me but us give back to the community and, and one of the ways was giving back to the kids like Makai Elementary. So we got a, you know donations from a lot of different sponsors, a lot of people who were helping, a lot of the pro surfers, a lot of the great watermen's, a lot of the beach boys. Brian and the boys brought together Mick Fanning and North Shore local Pancho Sullivan along with Miles Padaka and also one of the locals over on the west side, Mel Puhu. Another co-owner of C4 Waterman explains why this event is so important. This area has it a little tough when right over the mountain range is the North Shore where millions of dollars are changing hands during the Triple Crown. So it's really neat to have them come over here and share a little bit of their kokua here on the west side. My name is Douglas Shaw and I come from Makaha Elementary School, third grade and I'm in 11. It's pretty cool because like surfers are like things or people like go in the water with sharks and stuff that's pretty dangerous. We are so pleased, we are surprised to be called by the event for to pick up a donation. Um, a lot of times when they have big community events here, I know they like to um, target the schools along the coast in that, you know, we were a high poverty area. A lot of our kids don't get the same kind of Christmases and you know, birthdays that other kids have. So when we get donations from organizations, it helps us to kind of supplement what the family can do. I think that's really nice of them to do that for them helping us at our school and making it better. Aki is an experienced stand-up paddle, but Mick Fanning is it, and this is the first time for Poncho too. Oh yes, should be fun. I never tried this, so I've been, I've been wanting to. So here's the opportunity. So stoked. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi! There's plenty of boys from down under out there in the water today. Richie Lovett from Australia. Luke Stebbin from same place as him. 
Shane Stebman from Mona Vale, Australia. <laughs> Jake, how's it going? I do it at home with my dad. Pumped us to get out here though. The boys really know how to do it. it make me look silly, but it should be fun. Eva Eva Inui Kapono Nakukuna Eva Eva Inui Nona Oha Ola Ke Kalo Ikawa Ie Ugali Ali Everybody was out to have a good time today. Look at this handstand holding this paddle. Unreal. Uh, we call it a scorpion sting, huh? I like to do the handstand. A lot of Hawaiians have done it and stuff like that. It's, not done. I've, I've done it for, I don't know, 25 odd years. This week, former world champion Mark Ocalupo announced that he's retiring from the ASP. Looks like he's going to pick up canoe surfing. World champion elect Mick Fanning was out there giving it a shot for the first time. Yeah, that was good fun. Uh, first time I ever tried it, but yeah, sort of got the hang of it. It's fun. It's a good day. <laughs> Brendan Bradley was stoked to share in the experience. Um, it's just really cool. A whole bunch of different guys trying it. I got one with Mick, his first one, and one of my later ones, I got one with Aki. It was really cool. Beyond the breaks and beyond all the fun, they haven't forgotten what this is all about. It's awesome, you know. It's, it's everyone's just out there having a lot of fun, and uh, you know that's that's what it is when you get a help kids and that's just about having fun. Another pro surfer seems to have a good perspective on things. Yeah, it's fun having a ball here today at Makaha. It's uh, for a good cause and to um, get out and the bit of surfing that's friendly and just hanging out having fun with your mates. <laughs> Stand-up paddle surfing is almost as old as surfing itself. And when you think about the origins of surfing, you got to remember where professional surfing started, right here in Macaw. I think it's important to, uh, you know, sort of remember where it started, and and um, you know, it's all about the kids. It's it's uh, you know, showing them that that uh, surfing is a positive, healthy uh, lifestyle and, and a great way to channel your energy and. Uh, learn so many of uh, life's disciplines. Uh, you know, uh, you learn out in the ocean, and um, you know from people down here at the beach. Um, just learning a respect for nature, and, and uh, you know, building friendships and, and positive. So many positive things come out of a, uh, an event like this. That it was just a no-brainer to come down and you know just try and uh, try and support the event. That's right. It's a no-brainer to help make kids grow their brains a little bigger. And that's why today's event is focused on education. We want to draw attention that we feel that education is the foundation for a lot of these kids. And seeing the pro surfers supporting that, and even the Beach Boys supporting that, you know, it gives everybody uh, a true sense of, of what values that we have. Like Mick Fanning, road champ, you know, he has a road champ who, giving his time, drives all the way from the North Shore to come here, you know, giving up himself. You know, that's one true champion, you know, showing up that way and stuff like that, too. You know, I'm sure. So, you know, hats off to guys like Nick and, you know, Pancho Sullivan, Miles Padaka, you know, uh, Jake Patterson, you know, all those guys and stuff. Oh, it was amazing, you know. Uh, just everyone smiling, riding waves together and having a good time, you know, canoes and stand-ups and everyone trading boards and just all, all in all, just good, good stuff. That's the heart and soul of, of who we are and what we do is, is to always give back, you know, and... And whether it's riding waves and sharing waves, it's, you know, if we can do something to pull our, all of our efforts together to uh, do something for the kids, you know, that's, that's really important, so. Another day well spent stand-up paddle surfing. I want to give a big mahalo to the local band Kao Kahi, a two-time Nahoku award winner, and I think their music went perfect with today's episode. Please remember to support the bands that support this show. Thank you very much for downloading Waterman's Day 2007, brought to you by C4 Waterman. Go to c4waterman.com for all your stand-up paddle surfing needs. I'm your host, Tommy Stokes, saying aloha. All right.